Hi everyone, welcome to the Love Notions YouTube channel. My name is Marta from The Pickle and the Banana on Instagram, and I'm excited to be here to talk to you about elastic um, and using elastic to stabilize your seams if you are using a heavier fabric. Now this is especially useful if you're using something like bamboo spandex, um, which although it feels really light and is great and airy to wear, it's actually quite heavy because of how much stretch it has. So if you're doing, for instance, a maxi skirt uh, on your dress, then all of that weight tends to pull your bodice down. So today we're going to be using the Summer Basics pattern to show you how to use some elastic to stabilize your seams. Now you have a couple of different options in terms of elastic, so I will show them to you. Clear elastic is the most popular to use, and that's because it's clear, so you're not going to be able to see it. It will be hidden in your seams really well. So here is some that I have, uh, and you can see when I stretch it, it has really good recovery. It pops right back. Um, it's very easy to use. Um, like I said, it's going to hide in your seams really well, and it will work to stabilize those seams for you. Um, however, not all clear elastic is created equal. Here I have some older elastic, which you can maybe see has gone a little bit creamy. When I pull it like this, this is called exercising your elastic. Um, you should always do that with no matter what kind of elastic you're using. Make sure you give it a good pull before you start, just to make sure it does still have that recovery. As you can tell, this one, I pull it and then it goes very thin and when it comes back, it doesn't, um, it doesn't pull back quite as nicely and it doesn't come back in the same shape, right? You want your elastic to come back the same size, the same shape as before you pulled it. This is very noodly. Um, I think that it might have been swim elastic and clearly I've had it for a long time in my stash. Uh, so this is not something that I would use. Oh, see, there we go. We don't want that happening while we're wearing our clothes. So I will be throwing this in the garbage. Um, and then we can also get wider clear elastic, which is great too. Uh, it's very strong. This one is stronger. When I pull it, it offers me more resistance than my more narrow one. It's just that this will not be completely hidden in your serger seam if you are using a serger. But if you are using a sewing machine and doing a zigzag stitch, then this might be a little bit easier for you to maneuver and to control. So both are great options, um, except if you're me and your serger does not like clear elastic. I don't know why, but for some reason, nothing I do makes the serger like the clear elastic. So I actually like to use this woven elastic, uh, which I got at Libel Sewing, which is in Canada, but they do also ship to the States. And it's the same width as my clear elastic, so it hides into my seams really nicely. Uh, I purchased it for mask making for ear loops, but I have come to find that I just love using it. I use it for if I gather skirts or if I have to stabilize my seams and it just, it's rather soft and pliable and it works very nicely. So this is what I will use, but I will show you what happens with both of them. Um, so this is what I will be using, which is Liverpool and it can get quite heavy. So I am going to stabilize my seams here at the shoulders, and I'm also going to stabilize this seam. Um, I also really like to use elastic when the bodice has a little bit more positive ease than I would like, and if I want it to just kind of cinch to my waist a little bit, then I'll use the elastic and make it slightly shorter than what the circumference of my uh, waist area is and then it'll really nicely kind of just hold my bodice together um, This is obviously personal preference But it's a trick that I've used really often if sometimes I make a size that's too big and then I try my my garment on and I find mm, I'd really rather have my waist be a little bit closer Which is my personal preference then I can just go over that waist seam again adding that elastic and it always fixes my problem so I have to say I am a big fan of using elastic in the seams. Okay, so let's take a look at what it looks like on our machines. Okay, so here we are at the machine and this is just a scrap because I know 
I'm pretty sure I know that my machine is not going to like this clear elastic. So I'm just going to show you. So what I've done is I have lined up the elastic a little bit away from my edge because I've got my knife on. Um, if you turn your knife off, then you will be a little bit safer in terms of not cutting into that elastic. You don't really want to do that. It requires a little bit of control and it can be sometimes difficult to maneuver the elastic. So if you are comfortable with surging with your knife off, I would certainly suggest that so that you don't cut into the elastic. The other thing that I like to do is have a tail that is longer than what I need and I just snip it off after and it just helps to control the elastic a little bit. So I've, I've got it underneath my foot now, I've got my foot down and everything is kind of held in place and it is much better to control your fabric and your elastic by stabilizing with one hand here and then with one hand here as you are sewing. Uh, and that's just going to help keep things kind of moving along nicely. So let me just show you how my serger is going to do with it. Let's see. I'm not going to lie. I'm almost curious myself. Watch, it's probably going to work now. <laughs> okay, so you just want to make sure you go slow. And as you are sewing, um, make your elastic nice and even with where you would like it to be and don't stretch it. Uh, unless, like I said earlier, you are using the elastic in order to cinch in your waist. If you're only using it to stabilize your seams, then you don't need to stretch it. Otherwise, it will change the outcome of your garment. It's a little bit finicky. There we go. And you can see that my serger does indeed dislike the elastic. I was not wrong. But ideally, if your serger likes the elastic, then as you can see, it liked it for this one little pit bit here, then it will be nicely um, encased. Your elastic will be encased in your seam and you won't be able to see it at all. See, like that right there. So now I will go through and do my seams using the other elastic that my serger does like. Okay, so here you can see that my elastic is in the seam. Um, I've left these little ends here because that made it easier for me to control. So I'm just going to trim those off before I continue. You can see that the elastic is sticking out a little bit here. Um, from the the surged edge it doesn't bother me any however if it does bother you then certainly the clear elastic will hide better and you will be not be able to see it as much um, so i'm just going to trim these off and then i will continue on with my construction and then i'll add my elastic to when i attach the skirt as well okay here you can see that i have attached my skirt to my bodice and for the most part, I've got it encased pretty nicely in my seam allowance. You can see here where I've overlapped my front and my back a little bit. I just find that doing it that way is easier for me to maneuver and to keep control of the elastic. Um, this is also why I prefer to use this kind of elastic because I find it less slippery than the clear elastic. But again, it is also more visible, so totally um, personal preference. But it is mostly enclosed and it will keep my bodice in place and prevent my skirt from weighing it down. Time to try it on. Hi everyone, so as you can see now, my dress is done. My waist seam is nicely supported, so are my shoulder seams. My skirt won't be dragging my bodice down. So like I said, this would be perfect if you wanted to make the maxi dress uh, version of this pattern with something like bamboo, then you would make sure that that long and heavy skirt would not drag your bodice down and lengthen it. It will stay in place right where you want it to be. 
thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you got some good tips on how to use elastic and different kinds of elastic. If you have any questions, you can pop them in the comments below. You can also find me on the Love Notions Facebook page, Marta Glover, or you can find me on Instagram at the pickle and the banana, and I am always here to help. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and happy sewing.